So my full intention was to put out episodes one, two, and three of Foundation. But life had other ideas as it looked at me and said, you ain't doing that. Not today. Not today. That grass need to be cut. Them hedges need to be trimmed. Your son is in sports. So you can hang that up. Welcome back. Welcome back, Foundation family. It's good to see you. Uh, I'm sorry that it's been so long be between now and my last upload, but, um, you know, I'm here now. We can go over episode three of Foundation season one, and I'm going to try and do this a little bit more often. Like, I, I'm not going to do this one episode at a time per week. So I apologize for that. Let's get this going. And uh, yeah, so we start off this episode with Demazel and uh, Brother Darkness. <laughs> These names, boy, I tell you, these names. Other Darkness is at the end of his life, and he is starting to reflect with Demazel, and he's he's feeling rather remorseful and and feeling like there are things in his life that he didn't get to do, things that he that needed attention that he didn't show attention to. I really like this scene as uh, you get to watch Demazel uh, suffer the loss of darkness, brother Darkness. Brother Darkness again and again and again. And she, if you're asking me, like, she's the one that I feel most sorry for. Like, she has to go through this again and again until she is no more. And that has got to be horrible, you know, as far as, as torture for somebody. I mean, think about someone that you love more than anything, and you have to watch them die over and over and over again until you have taken your last breath. That's That's terrible. Here's what confuses me about these scenes. Empire talks to themselves as though they are different people, as though they they have no idea who they are or they have different backgrounds. You're the same goddamn person, but they don't listen to each other. <laughs> like the first thing out of my mouth when we start arguing would be, you, I'm you, right? Okay, I went through the same shit you did. I had the same teachers. I got the same last name. I'm the same person. All right. So why don't you listen? But in their ignorance, Empire does what Empire wants to do. They completely ignore the the uh, teachings of Brother Darkness. And they they consider them ramblings of a man who is close to death instead of uh, inspiration or or uh, information that they can use in their daily lives. He doesn't even listen to himself. Like what? What does that say about you? Well, you won't even listen to you. So as a sending off present, Brother Darkness is given the a gift, which is the destruction of what is left of the Sky Bridge. And um, he feels that it is, it is a sad day because Cleon I built the Sky Bridge and he saw it as like a remarkable achievement. Brother Darkness thinks that that, that is the legacy of Cleon the first and brother day and dusk in their ignorance say that they themselves are the legacy of Cleon the first, which is wow. So brother darkness is no more brother day or brother dawn is born and this cycle begins anew. I, I don't know how I would feel about being called brother darkness or being involved in this this mess. I mean, he seemed like he realized towards the end of his life that what they were doing was sort of an abomination. Like it it should not be. It only took him you know, to be discarded before he figured all of this out. Like you would think at some point one of the earlier hymns would be like, "Huh? You don't think this is right? Let's talk about it." No, they don't they don't want to hear anything that themselves have to say about any of this stuff. And there's a bit of a tale, I don't know if you caught it, I didn't catch it until the second watch, but Brother Darkness seems to realize, or seemed to realize that there was a problem with Brother Dawn. Everything is all right. No. Something's wrong. And none of the others seem to catch on to it. Hell, I didn't even catch on to it until the second watch, but that's, you know, that's 
some of the mo more intricate stuff that I like about this show is that there there are little nuggets of information that you have to pay attention to in order to catch on to what what is happening. And now we come to my third favorite character, uh, Salvor. Salvor is the warden. She watches over the foundation, making sure that uh, that they stay safe as they conduct their business. Uh, her love interest is Hugo. They're pretty cool. I don't I don't mind this. Um, I'm just going to say this so I can get this out the way, okay? Because it bothered me in the show, and it's it's in my brain right now, and if I don't get it out, <laughs> it's going to bug me, okay? Salvor's hair, man. Her hair. Who? Who? Why? Why? Why do they do that? L listen, I, I don't know why they be doing black folks like this in space, okay? We don't need a space cut, all right? We just need a haircut. Okay, you, you could have given her a ponytail. You could have given her anything, like a little bun in the back, something. But she got this whole kid and play thing happening up top. Y'all know who that is, kids. It, it's just a box, okay? It's just a box cut. That just seems, that seems a lot harder than a ponytail. You know what I'm saying? You just wake up, put your hair in a ponytail, and go on about your day. Instead, you got to shape that thing. You know what I'm saying? She got a braid or two in the back. It just looked tough to do. And I don't know why they be doing black folks in space like that. We don't need all that, you know? I'm just saying. Well, now that I got it off my chest. So at this point in the story, it's been some time since Harry Seldon has passed away. And just like in real life, once something goes away, it becomes harder for people to believe. They they think maybe the the everything has kind of died down they start to they start to second guess themselves is the story he told true is it not or is is my cause just so everyone's trying to figure out what's going on and uh salvor is kind of a a a gift to these people as she can get closer to the the spaceship or the what is it called the vault than anyone else. Everyone who tries to get close passes out or, or anything like that, even even bugs. Now, I, I have a question for you. Maybe you can help me answer it. But at the beginning of this episode, when Foundation first made landfall on this planet, um, they didn't know about the vault. They saw it in the distance and they approached it. They all approached it together and they all passed out. How did they get away from it if everyone who sat down there passed out? Just out of curiosity. I, I don't know. Maybe there was a bigger ship and I missed it and someone came along and pulled them out of there. But, you know, just a nitpick. Not a big one. Still love the show. I'm just saying. Things are starting to ramp up as Salvo realizes that the, the energy field around the vault is starting to extend. So... She feels like she needs to let everybody know that that they don't know how things are going to go. They don't know when this is going to stop. Not only that, but they recognize three Corvettes in the night sky, and they are coming towards the planet. And they are not they are not in it entertaining any hails or anything like that. So things are starting to ramp up. Things are starting to get a little bit serious, especially for the planet. They can't contact Empire as their radio is down. I feel like you should have been better prepared myself. You know, your weapons are scattered all about. Your radio system don't work. I feel like being being alone on a uh, distant planet, maybe you should ensure that those things are working constantly. That should be a daily check in my book. But I'm not on this planet, and I'm not part of Foundation. But, uh... So that's that's pretty much it as far as this episode. I really enjoyed watching this. This is a great setup for what is to come. Um, I really like the characterizations and everybody's motivations so far. I really enjoyed Salvor. Hate her haircut. Love her as a character. She is a badass. And I'm looking forward again to seeing how awesome she was. So really enjoyed this. Um, if you got you got any questions, you got any recommendations, please let them in, let me know in the comment section. I'll get to them. Other than that, I love y'all, man. I love y'all. Y'all are my favorite. It's a little creepy, but I love y'all, and y'all be easy, and I'll see y'all next one, man. All right, y'all be easy. Peace.